passion fruit. A climbing vine is a versatile crop whose demand is growing in both export and domestic markets. The fruit can be eaten fresh or consumed after extracting the pulp and making juice. The juice is used in a variety of products and the pulp may be added to different dishes. A wide range of cosmetic products and food flavors are also derived from the fruit that is rich in vitamins A and C and carotene. The main varieties found are the purple colored and the yellow colored. Purple varieties do better at higher altitudes than the yellow types. Yellow types, on the other hand, tend to yield higher and are more resistant to diseases. The purple variety is acidic, varies in taste and juiciness with intense aromatic scent and round in shape. The yellow variety is bigger with similar taste but possibly less aromatic, more acidic and is also round in shape. Both varieties are green before ripening and they are grown for commercial and domestic purposes. Karurumo location is found in Embu County. Here, we meet a farmer who started passion fruit farming early this year. He grows a variety of other fruits and crops such as mangoes, popos, bananas, among others. Kwa majina naitwa Alois Mbogo. Mimi ni mkulima wa matunda. Na hapa tulipo ni Karurumo. Na Karurumo iko Ken South location. Embu East sub county in M County. Ningalima matunda ya popo, naima maembe, nalima ndizi, na pia passion hapa tulipo. The variety found here is a crossbreed of the purple colored passion fruit and the yellow passion which Mr Mbogo says is a sweet fruit with high resistance to diseases. Hii ni variety ya crossbreed ya ile tunda ya ya zamani tulikuwa nayo kale kulikuwa ka ka ni ka violet kale kandogo na hii inaitwa yellow passion hii inafanana na hii tunda ya ile ya violet lakini ni kubwa kama yellow passion na tena ni tamu kwa hivyo hii ina ina inaka a uh, magonjwa yake sio mengi sana kama yale matunda mengine na ndio nimeona ni pande kwa sababu hata kwa soko inapendeza wale ambao wameonja matunda haya wamesema ni matamu na ni size ya kupendeza before venturing into passion farming he tried a variety of other plants such as tomatoes and melon which failed prompting him to give passion fruits a try passion nilianza kupanda mwanzo wa mwaka huu na kabla ya kuanza passion nilikuwa nimepanda kitu kama nyanya kitu kama melon na nikaona haikuwa inafanya vizuri hapa kwa hivyo ndio nikaona ninjaribu mimea mingine na ndipo nimejaribu vitu kama mapaipai ndizi na sasa hapa niko na passion na naona inafanya vizuri for good production passion fruits do well in a variety of soils which should be reasonably deep and fertile with a soil ph ranging from 6.0 and 6.5 a temperature range of between 18 to 28 degrees centigrade is sufficient. Mr. Mbogo says that the climatic conditions and the soil type in this region is favorable to passion fruit farming. Mashimo yake unachimba inakuwa futi mbili kwa mbili na kuenda chini ni futi moja na nusu. Badaye ndio unachanganya sumu e, manyua ya depe moja na ile top soil passion fruit seeds are first propagated on a seed bed before transplanted to the main field basi unachanganya ndio unaacha inakaa mimea yako ikikua kwa nursery 
kisha vika ile kiwango unaona sasa labda nimefika e, tuseme kama futi moja hivi basi ndio unatoa kwa karatasi ama kwa nasari na ndio una transplant kwa yale mashimo ikiwa unatumia irrigation na maji basi kwanza unaweka maji kwa mashimo yako na inoe kabisa seedlings will require up to four months reaching a suitable transplanting growth stage after Pumbe. about seven weeks New of growth following this, transplanting each plant should have season. up to four healthy lateral stems sasa ni kuweka maji ili ikue na hiyo maji itaendelea kuweka kulingana na ile sehemu yako iko ikiwa ni sehemu ile inakuwa ni, ni kame unaweza kuweka mara mbili mara tatu kwa wiki kwa ni sehemu ambayo e, mchanga ni, ni, ni safi unaweza kuweka mara moja kwa wiki passion fruit has a deep roots so soils should be well tilled the holes for transplanting the seedling should be well watered and manure added to enable the seedling to pick quickly lakini lazima uangalie uone hakuna e, ukosefu wa maji kwa kwa mti niyo baada ya hayo bas ndio unaangalia vile mti wako unakuwa na unavyokuwa ndio unapandia ile miti ya kwa sababu fashion ni ya ku climb lazima upandie mti ile itafanya climbing ili isinje ika, ikalala chini kwa mchanga ukishafanya hivyo basi ndio sasa unaweka vikingi vikingi unajua unachimba kwa chini na weka futi mbili na iwe at least isiwe fupi sana Passion vines are planted 2 meters from one row to the other and 3 meters from one plant to the other This allows the plants to have ample space for developing branches also ensuring the sunlight requirement on the plants are met Spacing yake inakuwa kwa laini ni mita mbili na kwa mmea mpaka mmea mwingine ni mita tatu Ukishafanya hivyo basi mashimo yake unachimba inakuwa futi mbili kwa mbili na kuenda chini ni futi moja na nusu As the vines spread out it is important to train them to climb up along the supporting wires The plant will be healthier if the vines are encouraged to climb and a healthy plant will produce great yields Mr Mbogo explains Kingi unajua unachimba kwa chini na weka futi mbili na iwe at least isiwe fupi sana iwe at least futi sapa ili ukiweka ile waya ya kushikilia matunda basi itakuwa eh, juu isininginie kwa mchanga jaribu matunda yields are highest following a regular fertilization regimen pruning should also be done to ensure continuous development of new branches na wakati unafanya hivyo unatoa ile pruning ile suckers ambayo inakuwa kwa sababu inakunywa maji mingi ili mmea usikose maji ya kutamba pale juu umeweka kwa waya so hiyo inaangalia na ikisha fika kiwango fulani tuseme kama mita ine, unakata kichwa yake ili isiendelee sana ikishika ile ingine basi nataka kutoa sasa matawi ili nitremka ya kutoa maua na wakati huo unafanya hivyo unapiga ndawa ndawa ya kuzuia wale wandundu wa kukata na ile baridi inaletwa e, inatumia ndawa ya fungicide hiyo unaendelea kupiga tu kulingana na ile ndawa nununua kuna ndawa ya kukaa wiki moja kuna ya wiki mbili kuna ya wiki tatu so ikiwa umenunua ndawa ya wiki tatu basi unapiga ndawa ya wiki tatu ikiwa ni wiki mbili unapiga wiki mbili na hiyo unaona kwa ile maandishi ile ndawa unanunua na hapo ndio ningetaka kusema wakulima lazima tuinjie hadhari na yale mandawa kuna mengine ya kukomanduka lakini inathuru mmea hasa wakati wa kutoa maua kuna zingine sio nzuri sana kwa hivyo unaangalia ile ndawa unanunua na unataka kupiga nini hiyo lazima ndawa uangalie kwa makini na pia kuna foliars zile unastahili kupiga 
ili iongezee maua na unajua ukiongezea maua ndio utaongezea mapato matunda itakuwa mingi so hiyo ni baadhi ya yale mambo ambayo unastahili kama mkulima kuangalia kwa makini sana after transplanting flowering should start after six months during this time, spraying with foliar feeds and trace elements is also recommended to ensure pests don't attack the flower, which should soon become the fruit. Kisha fika wakati wa kutoa maua, pia kuna fertilizers, kama yala mila wina, diyo zaza unaweka, ili itoe e, maua kwa wingi. Ata pia kuna foliars, singine, unaweza kupiga, ili... E, ifanye matunda isianguke ili upate mapato mazuri na hiyo inaanza flowering inaanza after kutoka miezi sita hapo ndio flowering inaanza fertilizers unapopanda ili mmea uwe na ngufu ulikuwa umeweka manyua lakini unaweza baada ya kupanda Siku tatu ine unaweza kuweka DAP kilias kidogo ili ipate ile nguvu ya kumea kabisa ikiwa na nguvu. Wakati kama huu ni wakati ya kuangalia sasa vile matawi yako yanatoa maua kwa sababu huu ni msimu wa kutoa maua na labda unaangalia uone kama inatoka vizuri ama inatoka namna gani ili unjue utaongeza mbolea ama fertilizer ya aina gani ili matunda yako yakue kwa ile kiwango ambayo inatakikana kwa sababu wakati huu ni wa sasa ni wa kutoa maua so wakati wa pruning ni sasa baada ya tukisha malizana na kutoa uh, matunda yote Ndiyo sasa tutakuja tufanye sasa pruning ya ile matawi yote yalikuwa yamezaa kwa sababu hayo sasa hata saa tena hiyo tutatoa tukate tukate tu, tuache tu ile mti ulizaa hizo e, matawi tukate ili matawi mengine sasa yatomoke watering is key in passion fruits farming Mr. Mbogo emphasizes that in cases of insufficiency, rainfall irrigation should be practiced as lack of enough water in passion fruits results into tiny fruits which do not meet the desired market. Maji ikikosa ndio tunda alita komaa vizuri itakuwa ndogo. Lakini ikisha kuwa kubwa kwa ajili umeweka maji mingi na mbolea ulikuwa umeweka, basi tunda itakuwa ya eh, big size. Kwa hivyo sorting kwa matunda ya passion ah, hapo hakuna shinda kama yale matunda mengine kwa sababu itakuwa ikiwa ile ya size ile inapendeza kwa soko lakini ukinyima matunda ya passion manji hapo ndipo utaona matunda hata kwa uh, hata kuwa ile size inastahili kwa market kwa hivyo wakati unapeleka matunda kwa kwa, kwa, kwa soko sorting sio shinda ile tunda ambalo alitakikani sana ni ile tunda ndogo kabisa lakini yale mengine inaingia kwa soko lakini wanunuzi pia wanakuja kulingana na ile market wanayotaka kwa sababu ikiwa mtu anapeleka kwa supermarket anatoka anataka top grade so hiyo hiyo ana, anachukua na hiyo anaangalia kwa rangi na size kwa sababu atakuwa ameonja anasikia matunda among the challenges faced by passion fruit farmers is the attack by brown spot caused by the fungus and the woodiness virus. In the past, insect pests were not considered to cause significant losses on the crop. However, recent observations indicate that the passion fruit plant is subject to attack by a wide range of insect pests. Mr. Mbogo advises farmers that in cases where they observe abnormality on either the leaves or the fruits, they should seek help immediately from the extension agricultural officers in that region. Matunda ya passion, ukisha ilida, e, inaweza kutuletea faida, lakini pia kukona magonjwa ingine inaweza kuja, inaweza kuona inakauka, 
lakini watapiti wanaendelea kuangalia na ni important when we consult watu wa kilimo agriculture in case unaona shinda ambayo huwezi kuelewa ili wakueleze ili uokoe mafuno yako Mr Mbogo is doing a small research on his passion fruits of tapping fruit fly that attacks the mango trees which are just a few meters apart from the passion fruits He has hung a small container with pesticide for fruit fly on the passion fruit trees to find out if this can possibly work. Tumeweka hapa ndawa ya fruit fly na tumeweka hapa mbali na maembe ili tuone kama kwa sababu kukon research ziliona nifanye. Nikiweka mtego ya fruit fly mbali na miembe kama miembe bado itaendelea kundungwa kwa sababu niona kama tunapoweka hii ndawa e, kwa miembe yenyewe e, labda hiyo wadudu watakuja kudunga maembe kabla ya kukamatwa na na ndawa so ni experiment tu yangu mwenyewe nataka kufanya lakini kwa sababu ya ngozi ya matunda e, haya ni ngumu iwezi kandungwa na fruit fly lakini nimehang tu hapa nione vile zina fruit fly zinatoka kule zinaingia wapi na vile itafanya kama ma, maembe itaharibiwa ama itakuwa namna gani kwa hivyo ni utafiti mdogo tu ninajaribu kufanya nione wangu mbinafsi passion fruit trees are supported by logs to ensure the branches and the fruits remain above the surface area This ensures that the fruits will remain clean and will not touch the ground. Hapa mnaona hii ni support ya matunda. Na ni kwa sababu ya kwamba ile miti nimeweka matunda yameanza kukomaa na yamekuwa na uzito mwingi. Sasa ukaona ile support niliweka haikutosha. Sasa lazima nitavute mbinu ya kusaidia ile support ili matunda yasiguse chini bado yangali yananyinginia juu ili tutoe matunda ile ambayo inafaa kwa soko ndio naona nimekuwa na mbinu ya kuwa na support kama hii ili islale kando iwe inasimama wima ili itoe matunda safi Mr Mbogo expects a harvest twice every year the first season being around June to July and the second one in December to January. Unatunza matunda yako baada ya harvest ya kwanza. Kama isasa ninataka kufikia mzimu huu wa December January pass. Ni kufanya pruning tena kujitayarisha kwa mafuno ya June July. Tena itaanza eh, flowering. Most fruits at the farm are green in color but showing signs of turning color to yellow in just a few days from now. Eh, kama sasa tunda kama hili tunaloona hapa ili sasa limeanza kutan kidogo kidogo unaona hapa eh, eh, imeanza kutoka haya eh, maua kwa hivyo ni kuonyesha dalili ya inaanza kukoma na baada ya wiki moja wiki mbili itaanza kutan e, purple basi kuonyesha sasa itakuwa tayari ya kwenda kwa soko na ukiangalia unaona ya kwamba kama wakati sasa tunda hili itakuwa linatoka kuna lingine hapa inafanya flowering so unapofuna na yengine endelea kutoa maua kwa hivyo utaendelea kwa kwa mwezi mmoja miezi miwili hivi miezi mitatu bado unaendelea kufuna tu kwa hivyo hii inakupa e, motisha ya kuendelea na kazi kwa sababu bado una una mapato unaendelea kupata Mr Mbogo targets the local market He hopes that his customer will buy the fruit from the farm as this will erase grading since fruits will be picked upon the customer selection This will also scrape off transportation costs for him. Kuna wengine wanakunja kwa shamba na wanaangalia matunda na wanakuambia hii shamba sasa ni mimi nitakuwa nakununulia matunda hayo. 
kwa sababu yamempendeza kuna wengine wanakunja kutoka soko pia ya mbali wanaangalia nasema utakuwa unatumia kilo fulani kwa kila wiki so ni wewe uchague unataka yule customer utakuwa unapelekea matunda ama yule atakuja na kununulia kwa shamba na mmeagana ile mbei ama nani kwa sasa ninategemea kuna wale ambao wametembelea kwa shamba na wameniambia gishakoma pas niwaambie ni watakuja kununua kwa ikiingia kwa shamba itakuwa faida kwangu kwa sababu sitakuwa na gharama ya kupeba na kupeleka kwa soko na tena sitakuwa na gharama ya kutoa ile matunda ambayo haipendezi kwa sababu ni yeye mwenyewe atakuwa amekuja na ameangalia na msema nimetaka haya matunda mimi yeye atajitolea bas natapepa na mimi sitakuwa na gharama so ningependa yule ambaye anakuja na beza mzuri na nanunulia kwa shamba from the 200 trees in his quarter acre the expectations are that each tree will give him 15 to 20 kilograms selling at 100 Kenya shillings per kilo the returns should be rewarding kwa sasa vile soko ilivyo matunda ya fashion kwa sasa haiko kwa soko so unategemea e, soko itakuwa mzuri na tegemea labda kutoka 70 shillings a kilo kuenda ku mia mia na ishirini labda nitapata na nategemea ikiwa kwa mti mmoja naweza kupata kilo kumi, kumi na tano mpaka ishirini because vile matunda ya passion inafanya inaendelea kuzaa uki harvest basi inaweza kufikia hata e, shimo moja unaweza kupata hata kilo saindi ya ishirini. na ikiwa ni mia mbili basi tukifanya uh, an average of 20 kilo pamti hiyo itakuwa mm, 4000 kilos si ndio na 4000 kilos ni kuuza tuseme kwa mia moja nitapata tuseme kama naweza kupata kitu kama 400,000 na kitoa ile gharama ya ya kazi labda nimetumia eh, eh 50 60 bas at least nitakuwa na faida ya tuseme laki tatu na hiyo itakuwa kazi mzuri Mr Mbogo is optimistic that if he practices good crop maintenance he can harvest for five years in a row without having to plant fresh vines matunda uzuri wake ni kwamba ukitunza vizuri unaweza kufuna kwa miaka miili mitatu hadi mitano kabla ujangoa yote hiyo ndio faida ile naona ya kulima passion the future goal is to do value addition for passion fruits as this will mean more income from the fruits that do not end up in the market for various reasons future plan ni kwamba eh passion ni kiukuza naweza kupata pesa ya kuanza kufanya fari addition kwa shamba kama kununua dryer ya kukaushia eh, vitu kama maembe vitu kama moringa ili nimepanda ama kukausha matunda yale kama ya, ya tree tomato kwa sababu pia kuna watu wanataka matunda kama hayo yamekaushwa so hiyo ndio mpango wangu wa kufanya hali ya addition kwa shamba na naomba Mungu akinijalia anifikishe nione huo mlandi umeanza for the aspiring farmers that might need training Mr Mbogo is also available on the contacts as shared kwa wale watu labda watapendezwa na kulima matunda ya passion mimi nakuwa hapa Karurumo market shamba yangu iko kilomita na moja na nusu kutoka kwa Karurumo market pia unaweza kunipata kwa mrandi wa Karurumo Horticulture Self Help Group iko tu kilomita moja kutoka ukielekea ya ishara kutoka kwa market ya Karurumo na nambari yangu ya ya simu 
ni 0721217321 Mimi ni staafu kutoka kwa serikali sasa ninafanya hii kazi ya ukulima ni ya kikundi kwa hivyo tukipanga tunaweza kupata nafasi ya kuzungumza na kupeana mawaidha e, tangu nianze kulima kuna wakulima wengi ambao wanitembelea hapa kwa chamba na wamerifika na ile kazi ambayo ninafanya kwa hivyo ni wengi wamefaindika kuona vile ninafanya na pia kuikiwa kuna wengine wataonelea wanastahili labda mawaidha mimi niko tayari kusaidia